Hello, I'm JW, and another failed electrical product. And I've actually done a video on one of these before. It was actually last year, and uh, it's a little adapter which has these sort of holes that uh, fit everything, and in reality fit nothing. And it has the uh, UK pins on the back. Now, the uh, one I did last year was a similar one to this, but uh, it had a couple of uh, major differences. Uh, the difference being that the other one was actually sealed, and it wasn't possible to open it without totally destroying it. Uh, whereas this one actually has some screws on the back there, so it can be easily opened and uh, have a look inside and see how bad or unlikely to be good inside the thing actually is. And uh, the design is marginally different, but uh, it's uh, substantially the same. And uh, the other feature of this one is that this actually has uh, sleeved pins on it, whereas the other one just had uh, solid metal, which of course wasn't actually permitted. But uh, even though they put sleeved pins on there, yes, they've actually managed to get it wrong anyway, so uh, let's have a closer look. Now here's the adapter, and actually it has the uh, three uh, flat pins as used in the UK on that side, but uh, unfortunately they're actually wrong, because uh, here's a uh, proper plug over here, and uh, although the pins are similar in size and dimension, they're not actually correct. Now on the uh, proper plug here you'll see that the uh, earth at the top here is all metal, and the uh, line and neutral have uh, partial insulation, and that's uh, perfectly fine. But uh, on this particular thing, they've actually gone and managed to put uh, partial insulation on the earth pin as well, which of course is totally incorrect, and in some cases, uh, depending on where the contacts are in the socket, it's quite common for them to be right at the front edge, so uh, it might actually result in uh, no contact being made there at all, so a bit of a fail there. And uh, the other pins are actually too small, I'll just compare with the other plug there, you see the spacing is uh, not actually correct, and in terms of the length of the pin, again they're too short, and the earth pin uh, likewise, so uh, no good really. And uh, as we've got some screws here, may as well uh, just open this one and see what's inside. Now, of course there's probably no fuse inside here, I mean I can't really imagine that there would be, and the other one uh, we assume that there wasn't, so let's open this and see uh, what is inside. So presumably these uh, two screws will uh, just allow us to get in there. Right, so uh, Oh, well, there's not a lot holding uh, that together then, is there? So, two little screws there, and uh, right, well it appears all that's holding the uh, pins in contact with the uh, actual sockety parts here seems to rely on the fact that they've got the screw head there, and it just literally presses against these little tabs of metal on the back of these contacts. Now, uh, this thing is supposedly rated to uh, 13 amps, it actually does say this on the front here. I mean, 13 amps, uh, 250 volts, a bit difficult to see there. That's uh, the angle on it there. Yeah, 13 amps, uh, 250 volts AC, and obviously it's marked with uh, line, neutral, and earth in the usual uh, fashion. And those are in the uh, correct order. But uh, yes, yeah, so all it seems is the uh, back of the uh, screw head there simply just uh, presses onto the back of these uh, metallic parts inside. Now, I don't suppose these are held in with any particular force at all. No, they're simply push fit in there, and uh, the springiness of the metal is all that's holding it into the plastic moulding. And we presume that the line and neutral are similar there. So, yeah, they just pull out uh, just the same. So that is a uh, very poor construction. And note how thin the uh, metal is on these. It's uh, certainly uh, something that will easily bend and uh, go out of shape, uh, and certainly if you put a uh, 13 amps or something through there, you can imagine that overheating and melting fairly quickly. So uh, yes, a uh, extremely poor quality uh, construction there. Let's try and get this back in the correct method there. And uh, presumably these screws are what holds the pins into the plastic moulding, so if we just undo this, then yeah, sure enough there's the uh, I see the bit of uh, metal there as the end of the pin and the uh, plastic shroud there, so all of the current just passes via the screw there. And it just uh, screws in the end like that. Well, that's terrible, really. Yeah, it just uh, grips in the end of that. And I'm not entirely sure whether these are even brass, because although they're goldy coloured, Looking like there's a rather strange texture, which looks uh, rather like some kind of bad quality plating, or uh, maybe in paint or something. But uh, anyway, 
Certainly uh, that is not the uh, recommended construction method for those, and uh, let's just check on the others, but I would assume that they're going to be pretty much the same deal. So if we just unscrew there, and uh, yeah, the same thing again, it's just the little metal piece at the end, and uh, plastic sleeve, and the uh, threaded uh, machine screw there, so absolutely hopeless. Right now, just uh, screw those bits back together. So we'll just see what uh, this actually is and uh, see if it is actually brass or not. I uh, have my doubts on it. So just scratch it away there. And uh, yes, as expected, uh, there's uh, silver coloured uh, metal showing through underneath. So it's certainly not brass, or at the very least, it's going to be brass plated, uh, some kind of uh, other material underneath there. So uh, clearly that's not uh, very good either. And also notice it comes off quite easily. This is just a uh, knife here and it's uh, so it scratches off uh, extremely easily. So it always looks like a kind of paint on the surface, but uh, I think it is a metallic plating. But, uh, nevertheless, that's uh, incredibly poor quality. But uh, the real concern is these little tiny screw heads, which of course are actually uh, domed slightly. And of course that's just pressing onto the equally small little indents on the back of the contacts here. So that is supposed to carry the uh, 13 amps or whatever, and clearly it's not going to. Now these uh, tiny little screws, which uh, seem to be uh, holding the uh, thing together, are certainly not uh, particularly good, and of course they go straight into the uh, plastic there, so uh, obviously it's not really designed to be open, but uh, again it's a cheap and uh, nasty way of doing it because the Plastic will obviously be destroyed after two or three uh, uses in there. And uh, I've got a magnet here, this uh, sort of uh, oval tape thing, and see if these are actually uh, ferrous or not. So uh, if they were brass, of course, then it would not be attracted. So uh, let's see, well, pretty obviously uh, something's being attracted there. So let's just uh, have a closer look at that screw there. It may just be the screws, or it may be the uh, entire thing. So. Go for the earth pin. I think they're all going to be pretty much the same. So there we go. So first of all, the uh, screw there. So bring in the magnet here, and pretty obviously that's a steel uh, screw there. So while steel will conduct electricity, it's uh, not anywhere near as good as brass or copper. It's something like eight times uh, worse. And uh, the other piece uh, is some kind of uh, non-ferrous material. Uh, so it could be. Uh, Aluminium, probably, as it's a shiny silver colour. It's most certainly not solid brass, and uh, though aluminium isn't too bad a conductor of electricity, again, it's uh, obviously not as good as the uh, proper brass or copper that should be used. And the other problem as well is aluminium is a fairly soft metal compared to others, and uh, obviously might well uh, wear out. Particularly bearing in mind this is going to be uh, shoved in and out of a socket many times uh, whilst it's being used. Uh, the rest of it is just. Uh, all plastic with those uh, bits of metal inside. Are they magnetic? Well, uh, they certainly are. As you can see there, you can actually pull them out of there with the uh, magnet. So uh, presumably these are just uh, plated steel, or maybe not plated at all, just maybe uh, bits of nasty steel. So uh, a bit of a disaster all round there. So Now I presume there is uh, electrical continuity here, so uh, just shove a wire in there and just see uh, there is uh, continuity there. Well, that seems uh, reasonable. So uh, hmm, that seems a bit. Uh, yeah. So uh, at least there is continuity between the three uh, holes and, of course, the uh, three pins. But uh, bearing in mind, it's purely the uh, fact that the cover is held on and that little springy tab inside. And uh, there you go. Like the other one, it says for export only, travel adapter, um, presumably uh, intended for. Uh, Persons visiting the UK, so they can uh, plug in some other type of plug in the back here and uh, put it into the UK socket. So no fuse inside, which basically means that this is going to be on a 32 amp uh, circuit in the vast majority of cases. And clearly, uh, anything that's going to be plugged in there, the flex is not going to be suitable for a 32 amp circuit at all. Probably more like a 16 or something. And uh, because this is the uh, style that supposedly accepts virtually any plug, it is actually possible to put a UK plug in there, like that. And then of course, uh, well, there's not really much point in that, but uh, you've just made a uh, safe situation. 
actually dangerous. And something else which I thought was rather bizarre is that uh, because of the massive spacing and huge sizes of these holes, which of course are far too big for uh, any of the uh, standards, uh, if you take a European uh, plug here with the two round pins, there's the uh, earth at the uh, slot there, this will fit in here of course, uh, as you would expect, so it shoves in and that does fit uh, quite well. But uh, most bizarrely, you can actually fit the pins in this way, and it fits perfectly. And of course, you can also fit the pins in this way, like that. So you can quite easily connect between uh, line and earth, or uh, neutral and earth. And no doubt, uh, certain other types of plug would uh, also do the same thing. So, uh, yeah, a very uh, poor design of actual holes there. And uh, clearly it's uh, designed to, say, take any old thing, but of course in reality uh, doesn't actually do much of a job at any of them. So another failed and dangerous adapter there, and uh, in the next video we'll be uh, taking this outside and uh, putting various currents through there, probably in vast in excess of the 13 amps, and uh, obviously it's going to be uh, totally destroyed, but uh, we'll just see how much uh, current that will actually take and uh, how hot it will actually get, and maybe it might even burst into flames. So uh, do that in the next video, and until then, thanks for watching.